Absolute Value Equations, Part 2. Today, you're going to be learning about how to solve absolute value equations using division. Using what? Okay. So in this example, you have an absolute value equation. These are the absolute value symbols. But what do you notice that's different? Okay, there's a number that is touching the absolute value. When a number touches the absolute value, or any term, that means that they are being multiplied. Right, they're being multiplied. And you know, when they're being multiplied, that means that they're married, right? They are one. Now, Mr. Five and Miss Absolute Value, they've been married a really long time. Okay, and you know, it's just not working out anymore. So they want to get a divorce, right? So that the absolute value can be single, right? Where are my single ladies at, right? All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. Still here. Okay, so in order to get a divorce, you need to do what? Divide. Okay, so you're going to divide. You're going to get Mr. Five out of the picture. Okay, get him out of the picture. So you're going to divide both sides by what? Five. Right. So you divide by five. Divide by five. And what happens when you have five divided by five? Any number that is the same at the top as the bottom, it becomes one. That's right comes one. Okay, and you are left with the absolute value of 9 plus 6x. And what is 15 divided by 5? 3. Very good. Now, you have Miss Absolute Value is single, and that's good. That We always want the absolute value to be isolated, just the way that we isolate X, or we make, make X a loner by herself or himself. Okay, so now you have an absolute value equation. Oh, ding, 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 absolute value equations. I'm waiting. Heaven. Okay. So you say to yourself, absolute value equations have two answers. One's positive, one's negative. And the first thing you say to yourself is, this is the whole equation. It has two parts. So what kind of map are we drawing? A brace map. That is correct. Good job. So we have two equations, correct? The first equation, here's a part that I think you guys are missing. You need to drop the absolute value. What did I say? I said, drop the absolute value. Okay, it goes away for now. Okay, so we have 9 plus 6x equals 3. And what's the second equation? We all know it's 9 plus 6x equals negative 3. Okay, great. So now we're going to solve for these two equations. And... Please remember that when you see a number that is by itself and it has no sign like the number 9, is this a positive 9 or a negative 9? Okay, it's a positive 9. So when we solve, we circle 6x. We circle 6x. And now we're going to subtract 9 from both sides, okay? Make our T-bone. 9 take away 9 is 0. Bring down the 6x. And 6x equals positive 3 minus 9. Okay? We have different signs, don't we? So we say different signs subtract. So you say what is 9 minus 3? That is 6. But what is the sign of the bigger number? The bigger number is negative. So it's going to be negative 6. Then, divorce, divide, divide by 6. What is x? Negative 6 divided by positive 6. Negative divided by a positive is negative 1. Okay? All right. Now, in this 
equation, we have the same equation, but it's negative equals negative 3. So we're just going to continue to subtract 9 from both sides, bring down the 6x, 6x equals, oh, look at this, negative 3 and negative 9. Are we going to add or subtract? We're going to add because it's same signs, add and keep, okay? So you have negative 12. Okay, you're going to divide by 6, okay, and here, negative 12 divided by 6. Now remember, remember Bob's cousin. This is Bob's cousin. He says to you, a negative divided by a positive is negative, right? Or negative divided by negative is positive. So if we're looking at a negative 12 and a positive 6, we're dividing, we know that that's 6, 12. We know it's 2, but is it positive 2 or negative 2? Negative 2. Very good. So this is what you will be asked to do when we solve absolute value equations by device, uh, devising. That's divorce and divide. Okay. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.